So we're gonna add a little bit of sweetener, a bit of butter, and then a bit of vanilla. Now, if you really, really love peanut butter, you could of course just use plain unsweetened peanut butter and cover it in chocolate. But I really wanted to mimic the extra sweetness and the texture that Reese's peanut butter tends to have. And the reason we're doing this first is because if you just melt your chocolate and dump some warm peanut butter on top of it, and then add more chocolate on top. And then what happens is when you try to pick up one of your peanut butter cups, you've got peanut butter already oozing all over the plate. And if you do it this way, and you chill your little bits of peanut butter in the freezer for a while, you get a nice, flat, even layer of your peanut butter. And it's much easier to make sure you get an even coating of chocolate all around. tried this I found that just putting in a bit of chocolate and then pressing in my frozen bit of peanut butter you can see how the chocolate doesn't come all the way up the sides so make sure you add your melted chocolate in and then spread it up the sides a bit to keep this from happening To get nice, smooth, flat tops, just tap them and shake them a bit, and if the chocolate's still warm enough, it should flatten out on top. <laughs> 